Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do Toriko chapter 247 review. This is a setup chapter. One hell of a. Where the fuck are they? Wow. The Stray Island. Like, when I saw each of you just like levitate, I'm like, what? Do, do, you can fly? Huh? And I don't see the thing about it is that I don't know if he's actually flying or not, because maybe he like kick off the ground like a simple toe push and like he just like kind of like covered and like flew. I don't know. Actually, no, no, no. no. Actually, no. I think he did fly because we saw a fake Froze. She was like hovering at some point in time for like a couple of freaking minutes for yeah, like legit and. Each of you was like, he literally flew. There were these random continents in the sky. Like these small continents, big, large islands, whatever you want to call them. They're just massive structures. Massive land that's in the fucking sky. And apparently they're called the Stray Islands. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, yo, like, did Shiki come in there and just like start levitating shit? Like, like what's happening? Seriously, what's happening? Furthermore, these creatures, oh, Gourmet World, could, I mean, they literally, they make Gao, Invade Death, King Octopus Kong, and Mount Turtle look like straight up bitches. And one of them just shot the, yeah, the cat, the uh, Cactopus, seriously. It's called the, well, actually, Cat was actually a pretty damn good name. But no, it's called the uh, Octopald. That's the name of uh, Midora's uh, partner creature, the Octopald. And this motherfucker, this Octocat, has a cat level of 620. That's more than the full beast! The fuck you! And it got. And it got played around with by each of you. With chopsticks. His thing is chopsticks. Like, mm, yeah. He has chopsticks. But like, that's the thing, though. We saw the four kings struggle heavy with the creature that had a capture level around 400. The only one that even comes close to that capture level in this chapter was this thing, which is freaky, ridiculous DMBs called Rampage. Like, it's a weird-ass demon. Like, this guy is my thumbnail, because he just looks so fucking weird. It's like, where have you been for, like, three, five, ten years? What have you seen in your life? You, oh, he looks nasty as fuck. And then there's another creature that comes in there, all right? So let me mention all the creatures that we saw, all right? We have Rampage, capture level 388. No, 88, there we go. We have Torna Grabon. Yeah. Corner grab on. Capture level 417. Then we go to the Stray Island. And then we see these two creatures. The Gorgon Beast. It is a, a Gorgon Jew. Apparently it's a Demon Beast. Capture level 466. Ripper the Fox. <laughs> Ripper the Fox. Capture level 500. Yo, yo, 524, and here's the thing, these creatures, in including this Octocat, they're not, they're not the kings of the Grimmay world, as far as I know, there's one king of the Grimmay world, Battle Wolf, dude, listen, if Terry's capture level at some point, at the end of the show, at EOS, end of the show, if this creature has a capture level, Terry, of over 1,000, I would not be surprised at all. I will not even be remotely surprised. What, dude? Each of you is fucking around with a creature that has a capture level over 600 with freaking chopsticks. Like, it's nothing, like, whatever. Like, fuck, yeah. And then, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But, but, but apparently, people in Torgo, they, they can fly now. We see him fly. The Ozocat does, like, a freaking, like, a, like a one-piece gameplay. And like just goes into the sky, like blitches, like yeah, mm, shockwave. But 
the question is, is Ichiru flying via his gravity-based powers or via his food immersion? I, I don't know. Oh, no, the gravity is, uh, yeah, his, his gravity powers stem from his food immersion. That's true. So maybe that's his own unique power. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I have no idea. It's, it's just that it's, it's crazy because we saw fake Froze floating around for like a few minutes. Then we see Ichiru, but Midra didn't fly up there. He had a, he had his partner be. So, like, so, I don't know, man. I don't know. But basically, it's like, he's like, yo, like, he says, like, you know, scram you kids. Then he powers up, and apparently his power up is like a gravity thing. And it says right here, and again, you gotta love Michitoshi's narration. Gravity is a force that all, but yeah, right here, I'm reading off the actual page. Gravity is a force that all bodies of mass have, okay? The size of things, gravity, indicates its mass, similar to the feeling when... Similar to the feeling of when multiple people jump on a trampoline, people are drawn towards the heavier people. This isn't just a physical gravity that can be achieved through food immersion. This power is similar to the power of humanity. This power is similar to a power of humanity. Where the presence of each of you himself draws things in. Bro. Bro. I mean, I mean. So each of you could just stand there. And creatures and structures and land masses just get sucked in each of you. He just. He, I mean, we saw this before, but now we're seeing this on like a whole new scale. And we're probably just getting the tip of the iceberg at this point in time. We're going to see a lot more from each of you. Uh, absolutely. Oh, this is... Oh, but this... It's, again, it's a setup chapter. But this is a nasty setup chapter. It's simple. It's basically like the locations. And I love the gourmet world. The stray islands? What the fuck? Like, when I saw the location, I'm like... Floating continent and sh only in Toriko, only in Toriko, and like, they, they, they don't care anymore. Like he stopped caring. It's like his job was to one up one of the grace, one of the greatest um, environmental uh, 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 world building authors that I've seen that Japan has seen, and that's Oda. Oda has amazing world building. But this is ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense anymore, man. I mean, granted, granted, this is obviously a pull from Stronghold. That's very obvious. That's very obvious. But still, uh, like it just it's it's it's. Oi, oi, oh my God! This is. I can't wait! Oh, I can't wait! I cannot wait! I literally cannot wait until next chapter of Toriko. I cannot. Wait till next week. I am pumped. I am psyched. I am ready to go. I am stoked. I'm stoked, dude. Yeah, I'm stoked. Because this setup is amazing. This setup is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. <sighs> all right, man. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. The chapter overall. All right. Again, it's a setup chapter. It's a simple chapter. That's that's honestly got the truth. Oh, and Milk and the other person, they're fighting off against these beasts. And we see each of you drop Milk's knife. The Meg Uber knife. Like, this thing, like, forget about hot knife through butter. Forget about that shit. It was, like, as if like, the ground didn't even exist. That's how... That's how sharp this blade is. Where the ground itself seemed not to even exist. It was, like... And then it just... Like, the ground just, just seemed to just part like a river around this blade. Like, what? Like, milk? Like, what the? What the, what the, what the holy, holy sh All right, all right, all right, okay. So, now I think here's that. Now that we know that each of you and Midra, they change locations for their fight. Now I'm thinking, okay, so Midra did not attain air. Maybe milk and this other individual, after they beat these creatures, they attained air. But each you still died. Maybe. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know who attained what. If they attained any at all. Maybe not a single one of Acacia's dishes was attained. I have no idea. 
But if one dish was attained, or if multiple dishes were attained, then the group that attained that dish should gain a power-up of some kind. That's for sure. But in the case of, of the Bushugakai, they're better off because their group leader, Midra, is still alive. So, oh, this is going to be one hell of a battle. I can't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. So, the chapter overall, my, my, my personal rating, I'm going to give it a good, good plus. Yeah, good plus. Uh, and I'm done. Heal my name. Be sure, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day. One last thing before I go, because I forgot about this, but one last thing. Um, apparently, Mich um, Mitri, whoa. Apparently, Midra and Itryu. <laughs> Mitri. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. All right. Apparently, those two actually had a fight um, before. And apparently, ever since that day, that quote-unquote day, Itryu has been using chopsticks as a weapon. So, I, I don't know. I mean, apparently his, apparently, his weapon may have been something different before then. Then when he fought against Midori, he started using chopsticks, apparently, or after that battle. I, I have no idea. But the thing about it is that, like, this, I'm pretty sure, is when, like, Midori, like, decided to go dark side. Like, he decided to make the Bishigyu Kai and so on and so forth. Or he was already their leader at that point in time. We don't know, exactly. But apparently, at some point in time, Ichu failed to kill Midori. And now it's coming to bite him in the ass. Legit. So, I mean, that's... Pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. So, I mean, that's all. So, I'm done. Once again, kill any. For sure, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day.